Hey everyone, Kevin here. I have great news about the new stimulus package, the HEROES Act, that is in the House of Representatives. I have been slaving over this proposal, and mostly because this is the most likely one to pass. I heavily believe this one's been pre-negotiated by Republicans behind closed doors with Democrats, because there are just so many things here that seem very bipartisan. We'll see, no guarantees. But if this passes, I want to talk to you about a potential retroactive $500 stimulus check. Now, this is inspired by a small mistake that I made in my original video this morning announcing this stimulus package. As soon as I got the bill, I read it. I read it two to three times. I took notes on it and I gave a lot of great information, but I did make a minor mistake. And this video is to clarify that, but it also clarifies a lot of questions that you folks had in the comments about the potential for this retroactive stimulus check. So here's how that retroactive $500 would work. We all know there was a lot of frustration over the fact that college students were almost completely cut out of the CARES proposal. It was ridiculous. There were a lot of college students and even adults who were claimed as dependents by other folks whose incomes are below the thresholds, which means you would qualify for the $1,200 stimulus check. But because you were claimed as a dependent, not only were you not getting the $1,200, but because you were over 17 years old, you weren't a qualifying child, you didn't even get the $500. And that's bogus. And this morning in my video, I saw that this HEROES Act addresses that. However, I misspoke and I stated that you would get a retroactive $1,200 if this passes and the new $1,200. However, this is where I made a mistake. You would not get a retroactive $1,200, you would get a retroactive $500. And I apologize for that $700 discrepancy. But the good news is, if this bill passes, you would be eligible not only for your own $1,200 stimulus check, because now all dependents, no matter what age you are, all dependents, up to three dependents for people filing their taxes, up to three dependents max, could be eligible for that $1,200 stimulus check. And because this also rewrites the previous law and changes the dependence rule for the previous law to any dependent rather than qualifying child, you would also be eligible for the stimulus that was offered to dependents in the first bill, which was $500. So let me make this very, very clear. If the HEROES Act passes, and you previously were eligible for your $1,200 check, you will get another round of $1,200. So for example, if I qualify for the stimulus before and I got a $1,200 check, I will get another $1,200 check. If my wife and I qualified before for $2,400 together, we'll get another $2,400. Previously, our two children would qualify for $500 each, which was $1,000. That's why we would have gotten $3,400 as a family in the previous bill. Well, in the new bill, because each child up to three dependents, any dependent, any age, up to three dependents gets $1,200, I would get $1,200. Lauren would get $1,200, and each child would get $1,200. Each of our dependents get $1,200. This is good. Now, if I had a son that was in college that was 21 years old, I wouldn't have previously gotten the $500 for him. But now, if this bill passes, I'll get $500 for him, and I'll get the new $1,200 for him. So hopefully that adds clarity. If the HEROES Act passes, everybody who's eligible based on income gets the extra $1,200, whether or not you're a dependent, limited to three dependents. And you get a retroactive $500 if you're now eligible with this sort of rule rewrite because you were claimed as a dependent, but you were over 17 years old. So that's really, really good. There's also one other quick note that I want to make. There's a little bit of confusion regarding ITIN numbers. ITIN numbers are generally given to non-resident aliens. The way this HEROES Act is written indicates that non-resident aliens will still not be eligible for the stimulus package. That is, they will not get the $1,200. However, eligible recipients who are married to non-resident aliens 
would still get their stimulus check, which there was a lot of drama about that previously. This goes to fix that. However, this also actually goes a step further and does include, and this is this gets confusing, but it does include a percentage of people, which I believe this is a substantially smaller portion of people. It does include resident aliens who file with an ITIN. So if you are a resident alien with an ITIN under the HEROES Act, you would qualify. But generally, we think of non-resident aliens when we think of the ITIN numbers, and I believe that's the vast majority. Now, I'm not sure about the numbers or the difference here, but I did want to add clarity to this because I know there were some questions for this as well. So hopefully this clarity helps. I do my best to provide you as much factual information as I can, as well as the best perspective and insights you can expect anywhere on the internet. Unfortunately, sometimes that does mean I make the occasional blunder, but the good news is, I I'm here to help you fix them, figure out the actual facts, and keep moving forward so we can get on to learning what the actual odds are of this bill passing. Thank you so much to all of you for your support, and we'll see you in the next video soon.